Good morning, everyone. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm going to share with you the Let It Be album. And I still feel like there's more I could do, but I really wanted to get this out for you. So I may fiddle around with some of the embellishments and add a little more to it <coughs> over time. And um, if I do make some changes, um, I'll let you guys know that I may re-release a second walkthrough. But I feel like I could just keep working on this album forever. I love it. Okay, so let's get started with a cover, which has tons of dimension. Um, so this would be just really a pretty dimensional project, just as is, just sort of as a decor piece. Um, I'm loving all the, the flowers that are so easy to cut apart, even if you're not a fussy cutter. Um, I've added um, these uh, 49 Market uh, flowers, which I love. And unfortunately, I don't have the package sitting here with me, but it's going to be in the material list, which is in the description as usual. So if you go to the description, click on Show More, you're going to see um, the material list. And if you keep scrolling, you're going to see the cut list, okay? So that's the cover. I used the beautiful stripe on the back, wrapped it around, and then added um, these this B picture. And I just, like I said, I can't get enough of this album. I just love it. This is a fussy cut from the 12 by 12, both of these from the signature page layered here. This is one of the ephemera cards where I cut out the main image just because I felt like I needed a little something here and I tried to work in some flowers and it was too much. So just adding a frame uh, a, an empty frame here kind of just did everything right. I put a charm right here of the crown. So if you buy your bundle from us, you're going to get a set of coordinating um, charms to work into your uh, album, <clears throat> which I plan to do, but I was running out of time. Okay, I did something different here. I don't do this uh, very often, but I used an ephemera card front and back and then added two coordinating pieces of paper. And I do want to share with you that I used the black signature construction tape on this album. However, I did not provide a tutorial for that. Um, it was uh, the first time I was using it, so I wanted to get a little bit more used to the tape before I do that. I will be providing a tutorial. In the meantime, if you go to My Creative Spirit, um, you'll see that uh, Claire Chevelle's got a tutorial on how to use her tape. And I think we've got a link to that over on our Facebook page too. Okay, so another, I featured the ephemera cards throughout the album. Another ephemera card and then some uh, space for journaling or even a small photo. And there's room on the back. So we've got a double flap here and then another tag or insert. Okay, I'm going to close that. And of course, this does the same thing. Sorry, I can't get my fat fingers under here. And then another coordinating uh, insert. And then this opens. Got a photo mount here. And this opens this way. And then you've got all this photo space plus photo space across these three. Isn't this lovely? I love this album. Okay, I did not put inserts in uh, the album. Uh, part of the reason is I find it difficult to get them in and out when the page is 10 inches long. I do have enough paper to do it if I want to, though. Not to cover them, but to put a coordinating uh, strip on the edge. This is a very simple page. Due to the weight on this side, I kept this very, very light. So this is just um, an ephemera card inside and out with a place for a photo. And then this is a large photo mat. And I've got enough paper to add some decorative strips here, but not to cover it. And I'll show you what I have left at the end. Okay, I've got some more tags. And these um, are just uh, horizontal ephemera cards instead of vertical. And then we've got a nice big belly band and a large photo mat insert. This is all held together with magnets. And then I've seen this, uh, oops, I skipped a page. I've seen this before, but I've not done it. Um, both of these, oh, I, no, this is right. I'm sorry, I thought I put it in upside down. I panicked. So this is a nice photo mat left and right. When you open the uh, flap, it pulls your card out and then the card will open. Okay. Now we have 
our flaps, nice large photo mat. I may actually make this into a card and put a decorative strip on the inside to add some more photo space. And then we've got these nice inserts. Okay, again, we've got an ephemera card inside and out and a nice large photo mat. And I probably have a couple more ephemera cards that I'm going to add to my pocket. So you can add a lot in here. This is also a place where you have, if you have um, uh, any photos of seven inch or larger, it would be a great place to add a photo mat in here. And then page eight. So we have our small inserts. We have two flaps that go up. And then two more inserts. And then I'm going to put these back in before I open it so that I don't bend my flaps. Isn't that pretty? Now this is um, page eight where I made a bunch of mistakes with my magnets and I defy anyone to find them. Um, I show you in detail how I solved my problem and uh, covered up my my lack of foresight in putting my uh, magnets underneath here. So no one will know except us. Isn't this beautiful? This is one of my favorites in the whole collection. Okay, and I think the stripe just goes beautifully here. So this page in particular just has so much room for photos. And then this holds everything in place. That's it, guys. Thanks so much for bearing with me. I had just a slew of technical issues getting things um, moved off my camera and into the editing software. So it really slowed me down. This should have been out um, earlier. And that's part of the reason why I'm going to let it go now and embellish further. And then I may release a second walkthrough. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrapper Create. If you haven't, please consider subscribing. If you do, you'll be notified every time we have new, new content. And we do our best to get something out every 10 days. Sometimes a little sooner, sometimes a little later, but uh, we do our best. And um, yeah, if you haven't, come on over to www.scrap and create and take a look at our show. Um, right now, we are accepting pre orders on the latest Stamperia collection. So head on over and take a look. Thanks again. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create.